I am JD Brake, and I am with Chris Rush today, and we are diving into the Honeywell Equipment Interface Module in the Vision Pro Series on today's Field Engineering. Chris, welcome to the show. Thank you, JD. Thank you for coming on to Field Engineering. We have a particularly spicy topic that we get a lot of phone calls on. Yes. Uh, and we're going to talk about the Honeywell, the Red Link Vision Pro. Uh, in case you don't know out there, that's any Honeywell thermostat that has the R in the nomenclature means it is a Red Link enabled device. Now, we have a Vision Pro here, and we have the EIM, the Equipment Interface Module, and these can talk to each other wirelessly through the Red Link uh, communication protocol. But it's not that easy, is it, Chris? No, it isn't. There's a lot of things <laughs> that uh, the contractors out there need to know or be aware of before uh, putting these together because you don't just turn them on and they both talk to each other. you got to go through some steps. Right. So, Chris, there's there's an issue with the Vision Pro in setting this up because you, you have to pair the Vision Pro. This is the TH8320, right? Yes, that's the 8320R, yep. and we're going to talk to this wirelessly. So let's say we can't pull wire. Uh, what are the steps in order for this stat to talk to the equipment interface module to talk to the equipment? So when you go through the uh, install setup, yeah, you have to tell it that it's going to talk. And some people, some of our contractors miss that step. Okay. So as you go through it, just like the normal setup, like when yeah. you're all the options and everything. Go ahead and uh, do you know how to do this? Yeah. Part. Yeah. So, so you set, you selected residential. Select residential. Uh, it's ask for a thermostat name. You can name the thermostat. And then is it on a zone system? No. And then it asks, will the T-stat control the equipment module? Okay. And you must change that to yes. Okay. So you hit up to make that yes. Yeah. And then when it says you can, you can connect it, then you apply power to your module. Does it matter if this does it have to this has to be on first, then you power it, or oh, can no. you have this already powered? Yeah, you can have this already powered. Okay. Just, and then it will ask you to press the connect button. That oh, gets you your flashing light. Okay. And then you press next on here, and now it's connecting to the module. Now if you miss this step. Here's the problem. <laughs> if you miss this step, then you have to go back to the factory default settings in the thermostat. You does not have an option to go back and reconnect to a module after you've set it up. How many times do you get that question uh, calling in? Probably once a week. Once a week. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So that's pretty common. Yeah. So that's a key fact. I mean, you have to do that at the beginning unless you're, you're just going to have to go through the pain of doing a full factory reset. Yeah. How long does this usually take to pair? Uh, it should be paired now. Oh, it's yeah. connected. There yeah. we go. It just takes a few seconds. And then you just go about the normal setup yeah, stages? Yeah, normal setups, all your staging, any uh, accessories they have on there. Okay. And then you're done. Perfect. Okay, so Chris, what happens, God forbid, nobody watches this video and they just thumb through the options and don't add the EIM at the beginning step. How do they do a factory reset on the Vision Pro? Pretty easy. It does lose all your settings, but so you just mm. menu and you scroll all the way down to the installer set installer options. Okay. Select that. Enter your code here. Oh, the code. Yeah, you got to find there. Code. That's an important thing too. Let's show them where that code is because I mean a lot of contractors or techs who haven't done that before. It's right. Yeah, there. There it is. The date code. The date code. It's also the installer code. So you put that in to get into that. 1929? Yep. So that was in the year 19 <laughs> on the 29th week, right? Is that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Look at me. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so now where do you scroll and write? Okay, you're okay. entering the password. Entering the password. You hit done. done. Now it gives me the installer setup. And I can scroll down to reset to default. Hit select, reset everything to the factory defaults. It resets, and oh, I then I'm back at the original. So just like setup. when you just powered it right yep. out of the box. Right out of the box. Perfect. But that is a pain too because if you've got a pretty intricate system, 
You add all those settings, yep. all the different staging options, date, the time, it even, oh, God forbid, they program the yes, thermostat exactly. for seven days. And then you that to... all gets wiped out. Yep. Everything gets reset. So that's why it's so important not to miss that step. Yeah. All right, thank you so much for watching Field Engineering. Thank you, Chris, for coming on today. Thank that was very helpful. I'm JD Brake. Thank you for watching Field Engineering. <laughs>